All right, hello and welcome back to another Wildlife Wednesday. Today, we have a very, very special little tiny critter right here. Uh, and get ready, because it's, it's, it's a neat one. So right in here, I have uh, a, you know, a species of uh, amphibian uh, called Amdystoma maculatum. And in common name, that is the spotted salamander. Now, if you can think back all the way back to the very first Wildlife Wednesday, well over a year ago, I talked about the tiger salamander, which is a close relative of this spotted salamander that we have here. Now, there's a couple of things that make this salamander just absolutely fantastic. And one of them are these spots right on the top here. You can see that they have these brilliant yellow spots that really define uh, it's, it's pattern, you know, a gorgeous salamander. And not just any salamander, but a mole salamander. So as you can see, uh, this little salamander is covered in dirt and that's because uh, it was just, it just burrowed itself under the ground. Hence the name mole salamander. They live most of their lives under the ground, really only coming out from under the ground or the leaf litter to feed, maybe to get water um, and to reproduce. As they reproduce, they reproduce like most amphibians. Uh, they return back to a source of water, such as a vernal pool or any other pond, lake, stream, river, anything that is suitable for them where their eggs won't get damaged or uh, fed upon. Once uh, a salamander like this lays her eggs, then those eggs will hatch and become tadpoles, just like frogs or toads or anything like that. And after about six weeks, the tadpoles uh, will lose their gills and soon uh, move to land. And they will complete the rest of their life out on land, uh, digging burrows, holes, just like this. All right, so now I did talk about the tiger salamander and, you know, it gets its name tiger because it's rather aggressive. It does have stripes as well, but it is the largest and more, most aggressive salamander. But this is more of a mid-size kind of... Uh, not quite as aggressive, but will pretty much eat anything it can get its mouth onto. So whether that is uh, small slugs, uh, worms, insects, or even small salamanders, uh, these you know these guys will not hesitate to chomp on anything that moves a little bit too close to its mouth. Um, also, one of their main kind of interesting defense mechanisms that they have is they can secrete a white kind of, it's a milky latex almost, similar to what uh, milkweed has. Um, but this is a little bit more sticky and can be a little bit more irritating. Uh, so if, you know, a predator were to come by and chow down on this little uh, salamander here, uh, it would probably get a mouthful of that milky white latex, which is rather sticky. Um, James actually got it stuck on his hands uh, earlier this year, and he... If I recall, he had it stuck in his hands for quite some time and had some trouble washing it off. So it definitely is, it can be, if you were to get it in your mouth, it'd be rather annoying. Uh, and if that doesn't work and they do get chomped on anyways, well, let's say they lose a leg or lose two legs and a tail, it'll grow right back. If you look at all everything that you just learned here in that kind of quick rapid fire I just threw at you, uh, it kind of totals up to a very, very cool and beautiful salamander that is native to here in Wisconsin and throughout pretty much all of the eastern United States. All right, thank you for watching this uh, short little installment on the spotted salamander. Uh, I had fun making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope before I see you on the next one that you get outside even if it's just around the block whether it's you know maybe you could go to a forest nearby your house, anything like that. Make sure you get outside and enjoy your time out in nature. All right, thank you for watching.